Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, July 23, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Proverbs chapter 1, reading from verse 29 to 33. And it says, For they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way, and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Amen. Very profound word this morning to us. So here we, we can see where the word of God is telling us that those who hate knowledge, they never choose the fear of God. Because those who are following God will never hate knowledge or sound instruction. They won't have a problem with it. But naturally, those who do not choose the fear of God or choose God, they will have a problem with it and they will have a problem with those who follow after sound instruction and who do the things that are right and i guess the the next verse could be referring to to solomon in the sense that he's saying because those who do not fear god or choose god don't heed his wisdom they won't want to heed anybody else's wisdom because remember you know, solomon was also writing from his experience that he had walking away from god and following after his own loss and all of that and so he had experience in making a lot of mistakes and so he was in a better position to give counsel and to prevent others from making the same mistake that he made but he's saying that if those person or if they refuse god naturally they are going to refuse him or refuse his counsel and we see that today how many times have you had experience where you have gone through a situation and so you know what the situation is entails and the danger that exists and you see somebody making the same mistake and you try to counsel them and advise them against making th those choices that you made and they reject you or reject your counsel so many times that happen and so that is why the bible reminds us that those who hate god naturally will hate those who identify with God and so if you are standing up for principle if you are standing up for righteousness if you are standing up for moral conduct then those who do not respect these things naturally they are going to have a problem with you okay but they have a saying that hard is pitney dead or sonat meaning to say that if you refuse to hear sound counsel and if you refuse to listen to instruction then you are going to feel the consequences of your own choices your own devices your own choices that you make that are not right eventually are going to come back to bite you or to haunt you so there are consequences to our choices so when you turn away from sound counsel and you follow your own inclination and you run after the prosperity of food you will be destroyed by them now the prosperity of fools is basically anything that goes against what god stands for 
so it's not just referring to any one thing but we could also give some examples like running down riches or you know running down the things of this world your own self-interest and all of those things things that only glorify yourself make you a spectacle and not in a positive way could be placed in that category right no are we saying that it is wrong to seek to have wealth or seek to elevate ourselves in life? No. But again, I will refer you back to a quote in Matthew that says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then all things will be added unto you. So, is our attitude towards how we approach these things that can either make them bad for us or work out favorable for us and that is why it is important for us to grasp and to hold on to sound wisdom because when we have wisdom we will able to make better choices and choices that will draw us closer to God and elevate us the way we are to be elevated in life as God sees fit. But those who humble themselves and those who seek to apply their life unto wisdom, those who seek the counsel of God, those who apply those principles which they are given by God, they will be protected from these destructive elements. They will be protected from the things that would destroy those who otherwise refuse sound wisdom. And so may God help us that we will heed sound wisdom, that we will listen to his voice and that we will seek to walk in the righteousness of God. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Amen.